So we do, we do the calcium carbonate on the outside and that helps the glaze on the outside. But we're also going to put borax inside. Hey guys, right, welcome to another episode. Right, I'm a little bit excited. We've got six brand new crucibles and we're going to soak them in calcium carbonate. So here are the six crucibles. This is the calcium carbonate. So what we're going to, I've already got my water in there. So we're going to get that in there. And I'll show you these crucibles. I'll get them out. Right, so what actually happens is we put the calcium carbonate in the water and we actually soak. It sounds so wrong because um, the crucibles go to a high temperature. So um, the calcium carbonate soaks into the crucible itself. Um, and then what we do is we've got to dry it out, but the calcium carbonate fibers Soak into it and then they dry out and this stuff can actually handle uh, therm It's got thermal properties um, They used to use this in theaters as solid calcium carbonate um, And it will glow really white as a white light for theaters and That's what they used to use when they used to put a flame on it, it would glow really white but this is actually to stop when the graphite crucible has, it actually got like glass glass in there. It's graphite and clay and there's tiny, tiny bits of glass in there. Because this is actually a ceramic. So if you remember on the um, one of the um, other crucibles I had, it had really, really veiny looking glaze on it. Like really big and rough. This is actually supposed to make it like tiny little pinhole bits of glass on the outside. So you'll see that later. So we'll get this calcium carbonate in the water and then we will um, soak them. All right, so I've got that open. Make sure you wear a respirator. We tip that in there and what actually happens is a chemical reaction actually happens. So I'm gonna keep Probably a third of it. Keep a third of it for next time. I'm just going to use this little scoopy thing to stir it up. So it's going to look like a milky, sort of like milk. A little bit runny like milk, a little bit runnier than milk. But it's got to have a milky looking colour. I reckon that's pretty well stirred up. There you go. Right, yeah. You can see there's like tiny little pet. That should soak into the crucible. So if we get the first crucible out, and this feels wrong, I know, um, but it will soak into it. You just want to give it a little douse, soak it in there, and then this is actually going to dry naturally by itself. We're not going to, just going to let this dry probably for a, I don't know. You can see that some of it's gone in the cracks like that. We don't want to touch it and wipe it off. You just want to leave it. So I'm gonna. Move these boxes out of the way. Get all these crucibles. I'll let that one soak in there. I'm just going to get all these crucibles out of their boxes. Some people will say they soak them overnight, but I'm just going to do this. Just soak them for five, ten minutes. I'll put that over there. That's one. These ones fit in my furnace perfectly. So I'm pretty happy with these. So I'm going to do the whole six today. And I like to inspect them before. I actually haven't pulled most of them out yet. And then there's 
is that one? Number six. So these will be for copper, brass, aluminium, all individual. So there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak these. Soak that. So I'll pull that one out. And we'll just... And we'll just put it upside down. There. See how they're all, I don't know if you can see that, you can see the white calcium in the cracks and that. So you want it to soak in and actually lets the glass beads in really nice fine and none of this veiny looking glaze. You'll see it later. You see that actually dries pretty quick. So while I've got that in my hand, I'm just going to quickly put that up there like that. Then do the next one. So you just want to film, a little film over it, and then don't touch it. I might just pull you back so you can see the whole thing. So you saw me put them in there. You'll know because all the cracks will be covered with calcium carbonate. Like that, you see that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what you want. And I have a little white, sort of powdery film on them. The reason why you make it runny is because it actually soaks in, it's got to soak into it. You, know, you could easily make a paste and do it, but I don't think it'll do much. I'll just put that there. And we're nearly done. And then once it's done, we're gonna I'm gonna probably put them in the oven. What's the last one anyway? Yeah, if you really wanted to, you could um, you could do it for half an hour. I'm just going to do it so you can see there's a film on it. If you do it and there's no film on it, um, and it just runs off, you got too much water to the mix. You can see down here. It's actually dried now. It's got a white film on it. That's what you want. See the white film. That's what you want there. So, so once, once you get it like that, you don't want to touch it again because you'll wipe the powder on that off it. It will soak in there, but you don't want to wipe the outside off. And it's quite a hot day today. All right, guys, so I've had them drying and um, this hot box. I've had them drying in here for two days. Out in the sun. So they've actually had a bit of time to um, sort of evaporate. But now i am decided I'm not going to do... I'm not going to do it in the oven. I'm going to put it on the barbecue and just really slow heat it up so uh, 
and do this. We can get that going. I don't know if you can see the heat. We'll just do that one as well. Do the match here. Got one side burning. Yeah, I hate this. flame going on both sides so we're just gonna literally sit these on top and that will cook all the moisture out of the um, crucibles and I'm, and I'm pretty sure they can handle the heat that one in the middle and that should actually get all the moisture out of it before we actually put it in the um, furnace so we'll just leave that like that not too worried about any um, oily residue or anything like that so I've got them down on low on low there probably put them in the middle in between high and low and um, as you can see there's flame there just going to let them sit there for probably an hour and then we'll put them in the furnace a little bit boring to watch but I'm just letting you know that's what I'm doing I'm not going to shut the lid I'm just going to leave it as it is so the lid's a little bit um, greasy I don't want grease and stuff on it and I don't want them to crack all the weight on it I'm just going to leave them like that but I got it, I'll turn them up to high I don't care um, so not going to hurt them at all. It's just going to—I just want the moisture to come out of them. That's all. All right, guys. This is the next morning. Right, um, I've got myself some borax. So we do—we do the calcium carbonate on the outside, and that helps the glaze on the outside. But we're also going to put borax inside to keep the lubric the graphite as a lubricant. We don't want it to be just clay. So all the um, metal sticks to it so I've actually got it going here I've got the first one in here I actually had it as a fairly big flame so I've got the borax inside there and it's slowly heat it's been going for about five minutes so you can see it's not even that hot so we just got that going um, I've got that at 8, eight PSI. Eight PSI is fine enough. We're just gonna slowly heat it up. See that?
just going to get this out for a minute and get the um, borax around it. I'm just going to show you, I've got borax around it, I know I should have my shoe boots on, just going to pick that up and swish that around. going to quickly get it back in there but we just want to just want to rotate that so the borax spins around it I might go get my hand my hand tongs now just bear with me for your benefit so I'm just going to get so the borax goes around it like that as you can see I'm not sure if you can see that. You want to get the borax around the inside, coat it, and then we'll put it back in there. It's getting hot. So we'll put that back in. Uh, we'll tip actually. Do the next one now. We'll put this. We'll tip the rest of that in there. Coat the inside of it. So hopefully you can see. Right out. So we're just gonna put that inside there again and flash it up again. Bring it back up to temperature. So we've got those four done. That was the last one we just did. Uh, that's slightly warm, but I can still hold it. So you can see the difference. That's not tempered at all. And that is tempered. So that's only tempered up to 700 degrees. Because borax melts at 700 degrees. 
Um, this one here, I actually tipped all the, I put a lot of borax in it and tipped them on the top. So, we'll see. But, they're very distinctive now, so I know which one's which. Um, I call that one the scar. Um, that one's, I reckon we'll make that one the copper one. Um, that one's a patch. That one's a patchy one. A little bit of borax in there still. Um, you can just scrape that out with um, scrape that out with um, little stick or something. Anyway, there you go. We only got the four done. As time goes by, you will see the surface of this actually start um, glazing up, especially when you do copper. Anyway, there's a the difference there. So that's how I've tempered. I tempered four of them. So I got one for copper. One for brass, one for aluminium, one for Nordic gold or bronze. We'll see. See how much bronze we get to do. Anyway, guys, hope you like that. There, that. there it is. Cheers, guys. If you like that, subscribe and all the rest of it. Cheers, guys.